started out. So it's gonna be the first game of today, first match, White Series versus N Gegner. Um, we're not no longer accepting any bets for the matchup, so that's gonna be it. You can see the bands down below. Uh, so we're gonna go right into the unit selection. I'm gonna be very interesting to see if we see any calf on the defenders or no calf, which means that we know what's going on. Now, if any team wants to play the Kaylee Militia, it us usually is N Gegner. So, who knows? But I am seeing some uh, Yan Yao Dao and Liao Ranger calf, so I guess we're not getting a full A defense here. What are you seeing? Uh... Looks like... I mean, it looks like it, but these calves, they could still use it in like sending out from the wall defense. Mm -hmm. But I definitely see a lot of monks and imp shields. And halberdiers uh, i would say maybe some wall defense maybe one time but most likely they will play on the on the ground for b point yeah absolutely if you take a look at the units that the uh, are bringing it's um of course no 40 there banned so they're bringing help sergeants and couple camels and then very heavy imp shield and monks that's for sure a couple claimers in there as well only two sicilian this time and two three four four five shenji even so that's a lot of shenji six maybe one, two, three, four, five, and no, five Shenji. And also four Shenji on the side of uh, Wise the Sirius, but they have three Zikali in compared to that, and a bit, a few more Camel Lancers compared to the uh, Hob, Hob Sergeants, I think. Gagner doesn't have a lot of range, actually. I have mm -hmm. like around six, while Wise the Sirius have around nine, yep. including the Vassal. Yeah, exactly. Which is a lot, I would say, for attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and the camel, uh, the camel, like they have a lot of camels and cav at the same time. So if and they, and Gagner actually defends the wall and uses the cav as a sally out to prevent to buy time, basically, uh, I think they could definitely win it. But we will see how they will defend. Uh, this. Absolutely. As I see two long boss as well, so. They could use the long boss as well to stop the towers or stop Badaran from reaching. So we'll see. Yeah. I believe Angegner actually sallied the uh, last round and didn't go that well. So <laughs> curious if they still have the confidence to do it. Um, on this map, maybe not the best idea. Yeah, I don't think there's no sally outs. <laughs> no sally out, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's going to be the RT game first, of course. It's going to be slow. Um, we do have a couple longbow and shortbow. It's gonna be good to see if they want to delay the um, veteran gram, since that is the only other option to get inside the city. They have two longbows. One, uh, one of the longbows is shooting the middle tower at now to delay it, and the other longbow is, I don't see him. Yeah, he's only he's shooting the ram. So we have a longbow shooting the middle tower, and we have another longbow shooting the ram as of the moment. Yeah. Yeah, most of the artillery on the left side is destroyed already. Couple pieces on the center are still standing. Uh, we have a cell on the right. Uh, one player selling oh. out to the zero. Yeah. He's destroying artillery. And yes. he's dead. There we go. I think they want to... I mean, they want to delay, delay the right army destroying RT, but at the same time, they should have the longbow over there. Mm -hmm. They plan to do so. It's kind of Definitely not getting enough yet. There's still 19 left on those uh, village watchmen for Black, for Blackwing. So the, the only one I could still do it is the 15 now. So you're gonna, they're gonna need another unit. Interesting to see the oh, um, camel sitting at the gate. By the way, I would kind of expect mm -hmm. some of the longbow and the uh, muskets to try and destroy a few there. Actually, there was a fight on the left hand side, um, mm -hmm. and the guy managed to leave uh, to leave with one HP. Oh, sick. He managed to escape. So, all towers were reached. Yep. And the battering ram is still not there yet. Yeah, definitely heavy delay. It's only 14 servers now, still pushing it. Towers reaching, like you said. There is also a trick, actually, in pushing the battering ram. Mm -hmm. If you put an imp shield in front of the battering ram while pushing it at the same moment, the imp shield will be like if you go with your hero in front of a tower uh, or a battering ram, you basically get knocked right. So if you have an imp shield in front of the battering ram, 
you actually block the shots of the longbow and you don't need to macro your shield actually it keeps being pushed by the batting ram automatically mm -hmm. it's one of the th few tricks that people don't know about yeah. or teams don't know about that's definitely interesting all right so we can see the classic wall defense here uh, which is imp shield and on that gaff oof but that trap is huge oof. all right doesn't work that well so two units lost friend gegner there by the single trap Help sergeants and also the M shields. There's also a problem, uh, and Gegner is not like matching the numbers with the numbers mm -hmm. as of now. They have a lot of people on the left hand side from the defender point of view. Yep. Uh, like around four units, that's really bad. And most of the attackers are focusing uh, on the left hand side as of the moment. Yep, yeah, we can see a big rotation here from Royce Sirius, although still three or four monks there on the left. On the right side, I should say. Uh, Xander is not gonna lose those Imperial Shields, but we're gonna fight on the left Siege Towers. The right Siege Towers is also beginning to push in, I think. There's a fight on the left uh, Siege Tower right now. Uh, and the Gagner is being aggressive over here. Yep. And yep. there's a trap coming. Yeah, it's gonna be massive. And Coco's hitting at the moment. Yeah, massive trap there. Oof. They yeah. need to watch out. Like mm -hmm. they're being way too aggressive. And yeah. I don't see a range unit over here. Actually, this no. is so bad. Yeah, there's no Shenji or Zigali on this yeah, side. That, uh, this is so bad. If attack is actually just push in, they would win the left tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sir is still just waiting on the right side, and that is where the Shenji and Zigali are as well. So. They should be able to win on this yeah. left side. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like they don't, need, they don't need to push from the right hand side. Yep. The, and the Gegner actually, okay. And the Gegner's rotating, but it's quite too late to be yep. honest. And trap gonna hit as well. Zartos losing a few shield maidens there. Now they're also getting in on the right side. Yeah, they definitely need to use the tower to dodge the traps. Mm -hmm. Maybe they need to put some units on the tower and some units on the stairs. And once they come in, they can try to sandwich them. But yep. yeah. This is, so, this is looking really bad for yeah, the At the same time, there's also a body block on the uh, supply. So two heroes right now are not able to get any units. Uh, Zikeli and Lisha getting killed there behind the building by uh, Fatsal. So those Zikeli and Lisha are going to be gone. All right, Siege Tower is still holding, but left side of from Wise Series is definitely pushing in. Let's focus on the fight here. No much of a fight. Yeah. XCOM losing a Shenji there. Free pickups from Ice Series. One I thing I don't really see from Andy Gagner is like not using claimers at all. Mm -hmm. uh, like it's really one of the most important units to have while defending the wall because if you see a threat coming and you're fighting in meanwhile, you will get the damage reduction kicking in and you can tank the threat. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so West Series managed to get on the wall on the A point. They also managed to get through on the right side. Uh, looks like a couple guys from Andy want to get back on the point, um, but don't think those shield maidens are gonna do it. Star is definitely trying to get to the point though, but that's going to be a suicide. So still the short short Spencer still sitting on a supply, by the way, that's insane. Yeah, they so, definitely here. That is just nuts. All right, so Spencer finally getting killed there. Now, let's, now where do you think Kangegna is going to go on defense here? Uh, they've lost quite a few units. I think they should defend definitely on the stairs and try to react. Like, they definitely need to see how they're moving and react to them. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them doing that on the wall defense. Yeah, exactly. They seem to be a bit still, uh, like, a bit still about when, when they need to move, which is what I said before the match. They have the end game definitely been struggling to move around the map. Uh, Pandanami and Greed bringing their um, Shenji to so also seeing the longbow coming in. Alchemist healing all of Wise of Sirius right now, so Wise of Sirius simply rotating the units that they need we can see endgame with kef protecting the gates so it's going to be hard for us series to bring in the kef so the kef clear is going to be what endgame will rely on i think on this defense we also see the changes maybe they're trying to combo together we'll, mm -hmm. we'll see how they will do that we also see the longbow of uh, of why so serious is actually doing a good job shooting, harassing the units uh, that is out of position. Yep, absolutely. He's already getting a and couple of the damage there. And out with two heroes. Don't know what's the objective over here. Yeah, they've been getting they a, a couple of Zikalian from uh, Overlord, Overdock. He's only 
one. He's only got one left now, so that's a really good job. Yeah, that's good. That's really, really solid. Good call. Alexander, the problem good. is, hmm, like, the units are really far from the stairs, like, mm -hmm. and Gettner should be get a bit closer, and YC series need to do something right now, because the units are really far yeah, exactly. from the stairs, when so they right can gain now. the position. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice trap inside the gate, I think. Alright, so the Shenji are set up, they also got the longbow, so th those are going to be shooting a ton into uh, Endgegner. Endgegner is going to be looking for a nice uh, flank here. Sesper trying to move in there with the Shenji out. Do same for Xandras. Ooh, big charge here, but I think most of it got stopped. That's the first one. Uh, Where comes the we next? We also have Vortex on the left supply, taking the left supply now, yep. right now. now. No one's reacting from Endgegner. Yeah, just with them. It's, it's not ETQ, he's going there. We can see the kills coming in though. West series are really well grouped together. No threat on the back line, so all the Shenji is still free firing. Oh, uh, the Shenji is coming. And. Okay. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be a big throw from Taigpumpe. Also, Siphon. Oh, his calf got stopped by the Shenji bombs, I think. Yeah. At the time. Oh, Ooh, oh the nice weapon. charge there. Finally, units uh, from. West series are getting attacked on the backline as well. And this looks like it's going to be... And getting also diving the range at the moment is yep. really good to see. Right now they need to focus on, like, don't overchase, just reset. Mm -hmm. And maybe focus on what's going to be coming from the gate. Because also you have... Uh, YSO series also have the right supply. Yeah, they uh, do have I see a lot of... Mm, this is so bad. Like, and Gagner needs to go get units. Mm -hmm. Or just retreat from the point. Yeah, exactly. They, they are retreating right now, but they're losing a lot of units in the process as well. Losing the Shenji, losing the, shield, the Imperial Shields now. Why is the Sirius is able to get new units from the left supply as well? So they are going to be quick on the point and Endgag needs to run back all the way back to their base uh, supplies right now. And also only six alive from Endgagner. So the hero fight went to uh, Why is the Sirius quite quickly there. Ooh. Sasper here. No, Xavion trying to get a flank there. Oh, Vet getting the 1v1 against Xiphon. That was not looking good for him. Why Sirius just chasing through? In the favor of Why Sirius as, as of the moment. Yep. Yeah, Why Sirius um, definitely showing up and telling everybody we want to stay in Fuel Division right now. If they get the win, if they get the two points, they are guaranteed to stay inside Fuel Division and Argonautas will be demoting next season. So it is a big game from them. And Gignor is trying to get a couple of fights and picks here. Yorkshire putting on the left side, trying to get more. But he's gonna get heroed. <laughs> You can see now, right now, YC series is focusing on the left hand side, and uh, they have a lot of camels and cav and one or two shields, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, no, I don't see range units, maybe in the middle, they only have one. Yeah, uh, this trap it. again, not spotted, I think, by uh, Endgegner. Oof, big hit on lanes, shields there, Spencer okay. quickly jumping in to kill him or some more. Uh, YSO series actually have a really good setup right now. Like, mm -hmm. it ca fully counters uh, Endgegner's setup as of the moment. Mm -hmm. What would Endgegner have to bring to counter the setup from uh, YSO series now? Uh, they definitely need some cav and anti cav. Yeah. Also, range. But they have the range, but they don't have the anti cav. Yeah, YSO series are it's moving in. They just lost the fight, I think, on the left. A couple of Yan Yao from Vet are still going in, so they might still be holding um, strong. Only oh, Yorkshire putting charging in. A big counter by Dagrax lances there going through. It's gonna be they such They definitely a give a lot of space. Well, that's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, they didn't really hold them off at the start. So why series just flooding everything with the uh, with the camels and the and the calf there, and also Overdog L and Pananami still holding strong with the Shenyi uncontested. So if no one gets there, then this is gonna be free capture points. There's no still standing on the point. But it's gonna be too late. Only a few more seconds needed now. No way for Vice so Series to give up this match. A very convincing attack, uh, Nesk. Yeah, I, I, that was really, really well done by Vice uh, Series. Yep. And I would say underperformed by Endgegner. The mm -hmm. rotation wasn't really the best. They weren't matching numbers at all. 
when yep. it came to world defense. Absolutely. Yeah, so let's quickly go over the numbers here. So, Vat getting the MVP 707, 59 unit kills, really good job. And he was getting even 1v1s on the sides as well. He had it twice, actually. At the beginning of the game was yep. versus Itachi, and other one versus Kios, I think. Yeah, exactly. So, good job there. Uh, we also needed to watch Tracker Row getting 13 assists, so I think he's doing a really good job there. Uh, and also, 1368 troop score, so he's getting the points that he needs to maybe make a chance for top 3 in some of the uh, like player awards. We'll see if he gets there. Uh, on the other side, only one Isaac doing a decent job there. Getting good unit kills, but the rest of his team not able to keep up, unfortunately. We have Renke as well with 110 troops. Mm -hmm. That's good to see. Uh, but definitely not the unit score you would want to see, but yep. he, he's, he killed a lot of things. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and if you look at the post battle analysis, I mean, Endgegner won one small fight somewhere in between, but other than that, was just always a serious. Look at the heroes killed, only seven the died. Kills, oh yeah. my god. That is just nuts. It's I mean, almost six times, it's actually six times, so that's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, so it means that Endgame was just dying twice every every single fight almost. Um, so that is crazy. Yeah, and if, so, so this this also I think this is the reason why was serious. Even though they lost the unit fight probably at the stairs, just because the heroes were still alive from Wizard Serious and they killed Endgame's heroes, they were able to get the control of the B supplies. Yeah, and, uh, like when Endgame actually were trying to suicide, like after Endgame was cleaning the fight on the stairs, they used their heroes to suicide on the. On the range units up on the stairs, mm -hmm. which backfired, I would say, because they had the cav units actually that wiped the the fight on the stairs. It wasn't like more of infantry, so it was only heroes going up versus range. And YC series had a lot of heroes protecting the range. And usually, if you try to dive range like uh, vassals and uh, changes, they technically one shot you. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if you have heroes protecting it, it's really hard to pull it off. And this kind of backfired into and Gagner. Yeah, exactly. And not also to mention, Vortex has also gone from the left hand side and he took the supply solo. And also, and Gagner haven't reacted at all to that. Mm -hmm. uh, why so serious? We're really grouped and moved as a pack. Well, sometimes also, and Gagner, we saw like, I would say, back fights like. Two guys fighting and then another two guys fighting and then the major yeah. group came to fight mm -hmm. and also when it comes to the camp for hidden city it's really unwise to give way too much space for your for the attackers because if you you need to do something out of the box you know like you need to think something outside the box when yeah. it comes to defending uh, hidden city the camp because if you just wait for the attackers to push they can come from many different directions mm -hmm. and then it's going to be super hard to react you know you need to do something you cannot just sit and wait yeah absolutely that's definitely what we saw and um like you said and game just making so many mistakes i think on the on the coordination and also but also watch series playing very patiently like the amount of time they waited on the right siege tower when they were pushing the left they just yeah, I, I waited and waited it. and waited until they get in so that's pretty good showing from them as well i think yeah, that was really well done from uh, the shot caller. Like they, mm. he saw he saw that um, uh, they had like less players on the left hand side compared to their numbers, mm -hmm. and he just told maybe probably to the right hand side to just wait. And um, this is the problem when it comes to wall defense as well. Like if they're splitting up to two, like I saw and Gagner defending three sides, well, they're only splitting up into two sides. This is like a big problem. Uh, you need to like. Just watch the map, press tab or press Z and see where the enemy is going and just rotate with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you already mentioned at the start of the game, uh, or qu quite quickly into it, when we saw the towers landing that Endgegner was just not rotating the players, right? They were just standing there, probably had like pre-assigned locations for the players to, to start. But you couldn't see them moving with Y so serious, so it looked a bit so weird. And also... changes on the wall. Yeah. Like, the, Exactly. They also I saw changes on defending on the wall. Yep. Like why use changes when you have cocos? Like cocos mm -hmm. will definitely do better than changes while defending the towers. Yep. Just like I explained a few few minutes ago, and the tower that YC series were pushing from actually, uh, and the had zero range in it over there, mm -hmm. which made it a lot easier. Like although they have were like around six people, they could have a chance to win the fight. 
uh, not wanted, I would say trade better. I would say trade better. Mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> they didn't have any range in it over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and also the range that uh, Wiser Series brought to the first fight, because they didn't bring any units, but they brought the trebuchets, and the first three or four trebuchets were all like right on point, and, and again, they weren't able to dodge any of those. So that also made a huge difference, I think, in those first couple of fights uh, that we saw. There, so there we go. I think we got to run in there. Miss coordination uh, from Antonietnar this game. A lot mm -hmm. of it, actually. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna get the bands in and then we'll be ready to get the next game going, probably. Uh, Falconetti and Flame. So. Uh, you were quite quick to, to, to say, all right, the, what was the series was bringing is countering uh, Endgegner. Uh, what would Endgegner need to bring if they wanted to counter was the series uh, final setup there with all the camels and Yang Yao Dao? Yeah, here's the thing. At the start, I'd say as well that um, was the series have a lot of camels. So like if Endgegner managed to pull off the wall defense, it would be an easy one for uh, Endgegner. So if you like look more into Engegner's setup, it was like more appealing to the wall defense than a ground defense. Like they had a mix of both, like ground and wall, mm -hmm. but it was more appealing to like uh, towards the wall defense more than ground defense. Yeah, While Wise series had a mix of both mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, but it was more of a ground setup. They had a lot of camels. Also the calf, like so like it's it's both actually like camels and calf. Yep, exactly. So if actually and Gagner won at least one fight on the wall, mm -hmm. uh, maybe they had a chance to win the game just because of the setup. You know, yep. the setup. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with what you're saying. You can see it like uh, for especially the last fight, right? I mean, it was just all calf, um, and then suddenly, uh, but in the first two fights, and was just losing too many units. Uh, even the first trebuchet, just losing two units that you need on the tower. That's that's big. Yeah, on the right side, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right, we uh, started. <laughs> So, second game, 1-0 from West Series. West Series is now defending. So let's see if they want to uh, defend the walls and make this a quick match, or if we get a longer one if Wendt Gigner shows up, which they've done once against Apes this season. So maybe they can do it in their last game in the Feudal Division because they will be demoting to Rustic Division next season. So what are we seeing here? Quite a few... Uh, not as many malls, by the way, as early in the season, before we go to the units. I mean, we still see a lot of malls, but mm -hmm. not as much, I would say. Yeah. Also, we see an interesting pick from YSU series. They have impacts. Mm, yep. So uh, uh, it seems like they want to defend the ground from what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, but their first setup looks like it's a more of a wall defense. Yeah, absolutely. With the like, change. this is actually a, this is actually a decent setup for a yeah. wall defense. I was about to say for what the series. Yeah, they, they got the claimers right. They got the Sikeli and they got the the shields and also the crescent monks. Like really simple setup if they want to hold the wall there. Look at Endgegner. They're expecting a Sally or camels. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So really heavy um, reliance on Kev from Endgegner. They're bringing so many Yan Yao Dao cavalry. I hope that they get inside the city because if they don't, then they are gonna have to. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the same thing with almost. It's almost the same thing with uh, with voice of series. Like uh, they have a lot of uh, camels and calf. Like uh, I mean, I understand because the Yang Yudao is crazy right now. There is not not, not a lot of counters for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, some players are playing Daggerax and Yang Yudao. This is also not really good to see. One of the things I could actually do with the dagger axe is, um, like, if the first push fails, like the dagger axe player, the guy that's playing double calf, he can go to the supply and just clear heroes over there or try to buy time over there. Let's see what they will do. Exactly. But I really like the setup of Francis series. It looks really decent. Yeah, definitely. Maybe looks, I would uh, add one or good. two. Maybe I would add, like, maybe one more claimer. Mm -hmm. But. It's it's a good setup for one defense. Yep, I like it. And it's definitely something that West Series have been improving a lot on, I think, during the season. At the start of the season, they were struggling, just like Endgegner, to find the right setups. But ever since their match against uh, No Beaches, it's been getting a lot better. All right, let's see. 
So, everybody's up on the wall. So far, so good. No one jumping down yet. <laughs> Would you ever sally out with just the heroes to destroy a couple, uh, uh, like, artillery pieces or stuff like this on this map? I would do it if I was a pop, maybe, but it's definitely not worth to do. Like, mm -hmm. actually wall defense on this map is pretty easy compared to many other maps, because yeah. the trap is kind of far and you can see it coming, and the uh, towers are really hard to push from. And you have one supply that you cannot un like interrupt it. Ooh. Yes, you have another one supply that you can, but the other mm -hmm. one you can't, Yeah, exactly. which makes it like really hard. Yeah, so Endgegner definitely making short work of the three pieces on the left side. And it looks like they're really heavily focused on this left side, by the way. Like, there's almost no one on the right side. They're not even shooting all the artillery pieces, artillery pieces over there. Not even pushing the battering ram, by the way. And just now started to push the left siege tower, the middle siege tower. So, a few mistakes here and there, I think. They also, also, why the series have the longbow shooting the, the mm -hmm. side tower? Because they, there is no one to push the batting game, so it's like, yeah, sure, let's just shoot another thing. Yep. Which is a good thing, for sure. Yeah, we they can also see... have heroes climbing for no reason, I don't know why. Is that so slow? Yeah, I think so slow. There's no reason for him to climb, like, all over the full HP and it's gonna land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to get the uh, watch launch there, but like you said, that's not gonna kill the tower. More climbing though, they definitely want to, they've made an objective of getting that uh, launcher, and they got it. <laughs> They're giving up a couple of free kills there. Uh, left side tower reaching. You can definitely heroes. like switch the muskets yeah. to do that job. Oh, these Imperial Shields too quickly. Tide Pump is gonna lose those. Uh, this is so bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, this trap? Uh, they're not gonna kill those most likely. Oh, even the Kelly. Mm, he intro. should commit, yeah. yeah yep. He should bait it them over there. Like the timing of the trap. Uh, not the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could have maybe gotten a few back there. But Babalu once again dropping. He was the first one to drop and now he's died twice already. Yeah. I also see on the right hand side here is climbing from Ant mm -hmm. I don't see any use of it. Like, some of them are trapped, baiting themselves with the trap. That's good to see. Uh, uh, this is the problem. He's trapping him shit so they can tank the trumps. Yeah, didn't lose any there. They can cut him. Right, at least the towers have overreached now, but the veteran ram still needs to get in there. Uh, looks like uh, Gignir is uh, getting a little bit messy in this game. <laughs> yeah, they need to focus on grouping up for now and then yep. make something. All the towers reach, they have everything they need. Mm -hmm. yes. There's one thing we actually did in this map, which is uh, like suiciding on the right side and then just spawning on the left hand side and pushing from the left tower because mm. people would be late to react to where you spawn and then you just come from the left tower and you have it you have the space you need yeah yeah we're, definitely uh, we're seeing to try. right now coming from the left tower mm -hmm. and also with all the cicalians that are out here right now if you if you press tap you could see that there's like two cicalian shenji it, it would be worth it to suicide on those and and try and get it back in there because some are dying once again this trebuchet yeah. i think not well placed once again unless they push them out a little bit You also see the halberdiers are front lining without the uh, ink shield. Ooh, what the hell? It's trebuchet right on the Also, head. You're, uh, this is a big mistake. Like, the longbow is focusing the monks instead of the cocos. Hmm. Yeah, I, just, I don't know why he's focusing the monks. Yeah, look at this. They definitely saw it coming. And Odin the claimers tanking the, the shots, like you said. The monks are pushing in. They will be cleaned up, most likely. A lot of space given as well from my series. Mm-hmm. And the right hand side is pushing as well right now. Yep. From Ant Gagnard. Yeah, but what series we is have an fighting this left side outnumbered? Mm -hmm. That's so weird. Yeah, and this is the problem. Alright, so Ant Gagnard slowly right, like pushing through from... the left. They need to win the right side now for Weiss. For, uh, Weiss is serious. They need to be patient this. on the right side, actually. Mm -hmm. they, don't need, they actually don't need to push it right now. Yep. It's an ending. Once again, and slowly making it seems like retreating or yeah, I think so. they're faking. Uh, the the left hand side defense from wasn't the best from Ice Series. Uh, they're winning the right hand side though. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Ice Series need to protect the Shenji there at the back. If they protect those, then they've got a really good push going. The monks are still full health. The right side is now finally starting to push in as well. 
Only half sergeants left on the point. All right, Engage now starting to push in. This is good. Yeah. We also see a halberd is bracing an F1. That's one of the major mistakes. Like people should brace it in F2. Yep, for sure. Maybe and damage. right now, I think this is good. What Engage is doing, they're chasing uh, the units, but they are, should have some people capping the A point as well at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's ready to jump in there and get those couple of kills there. Blackwing losing his hop sergeants, even though he did so well on the on longbow at the start of the game and also last game. Look how quickly White Series is there, ready to defend the uh, staircase, though. They're getting new units right away. They gave up A point, they knew it, and now they're getting set up for a defense around B point. So, Endgegner actually managed to get the A point quite quickly in the end. They played similar strategy compared to White Series. And they have it. So eight minutes eight. left, which is the same time as Wise Series had. So now it's question how quickly are both teams gonna set up. We have a one v one. And also they have the unit trade thing in their favor as well. Yeah. Ooh, nice jump here from Xiphon onto Pandanami's uh Cicalian. Only two left, so that's a good job there. We also see the longbow shooting from uh, end gagners. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's uh, it's always good to see a longbow player because, uh, like, if you have a unit low HP before you fight, like a monk, or mm -hmm. you can try to kill the special units, it's really good to have. But I don't know why. Uh, okay, I think he's shooting shield maintenance mm -hmm. kind of fuses. Absolutely. All right, we got Bubble House uh, longbow setup on the left side, so there's definitely going to be some shooting on that side. We can see all of Angekin rotating. Two units of longbows, by the way. That's a lot of longbow. Yep. So they need to get the supplies with this push because they won't be able to reach the the B point. Why so serious? Checking them on the right side as well. So we're looking at the units. Uh, which lineup do you prefer over the other one? I would say both is actually fine. Both are actually okay. Like they have halberds, they have monks, shields, range unit for Endgagner. That's okay for pushing the eight points since you don't have the gate. Mm -hmm. We also see the gate not being destroyed. Like you open the gate, but yeah, we're seeing right now the Endgagner is pushing the gate. Because if they fail the push and the uh, YC series closes the gate, it's going to be a big problem for Endgegner. Yep. Especially yeah. that they have a lot of cav and camels, you know? Yeah, definitely. They need to make sure the gate is destroyed before they make a push. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm just going to quickly be checking the units here. So, with all the longbow, you would expect YC series to drop a couple of uh, units here and there. But so far, it doesn't look like any of the specialists were dropped. Meanwhile, Blackwing has been uh, killing a couple of the hop sergeants. There's no shields in front of uh, of all the the units here on the left side, so the the malls need to body tank those. Finally, a uh, unit of imp shields there. All right, so veteran ram almost there, but not yet. Where is it? It's almost done. Yeah, yeah, it's almost it's already done. over. Yeah, it's destroyed now. Yeah, okay, good. We see um, Yukiro Padding is actually inside the map looking for range units, probably, mm -hmm. to kill. Mm, we're gonna see how Angelman is gonna make that push. Actually, vassals in this map, I wouldn't say they're really that effective unless it's on the camp. Mm -hmm. But having them on the wall, it's really hard to shoot anything because in this map, there's a lot of buildings you can hide. So vassals are really not that great in this map. Yeah, yeah you need to I'm get a couple using really them good for the camp. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need to shoot basically from both sides if you want to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get it. Yeah, but then you're really spread out, and you can see why Sirius always having a couple guys on the flanks with the shield maidens, really quick units. So if they're spread out too much on the attack, then uh, the defenders can uh, actually play aggressive and fight, fight back aggressively. Looks like they're aiming for the left supply. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea. There's a lot mm. of like if Fire Cities makes the fight close Ooh. to the stairs, it's yeah. gonna be super hard. Yeah, to... and also the again are gonna I'm lose getting... the, the gate fight, I think. There's shield main is at the back there and also uh camels inside the gate, couple heroes jumping down, so Yorkshire Pudding gonna lose his life and also his camel. So full control on the gate by Wise Sirius. Action from and um, Gagner as well. Like they should use this distraction. What's going mm -hmm. on to make a push? Yep. Like they have like around four people on the gate, so it could the fight in the supply if they started sooner, it could have been like yeah, exactly fourteen versus twelve or something. So they, it could be in their favor. Yeah, they do have double. Okay, they're pushing for the supply. They do have double uh, help sergeants sitting on the wall. They are still only pushing. Also have a shield made in flanking from yep. the wall. Ooh, oh, this huge so cap charge there from uh, Wise Series. I don't think anything has stopped it. There's no anti cap, so those monks and Imperial Shields are going to be gone quickly. Oh. Big charge there from uh, the, the Claymores and also the monks up on the stairs. Spencer's going to lose all the Shenji quite quickly there. Oh, oh, look at this. They came from many different flanks, yep. actually. This is cleanup time. Like, here. This, is the problem. this is the problem pushing from that side, actually. Like, mm. There's a lot of flanks you need to deal with. Uh, so you either need to be really quick, or this is what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's a full wipe, and you can see the Yanya Daukaf and also the camels respawning at the gate quite quick, quickly now. But there's still a unit of camels sitting inside there, so no one's gonna be able to push through. And this is the thing as well, like Wasu Series, they don't over over chase or something. They just fully reset really quick and react to the gate immediately. Mm -hmm. Like right now, they just need to get one guy on the wall and see what's up, what they're gonna do. Yep, and why is the series but, pushing, punishing them on the left side as well? Uh, unit of new caps probably gonna clean out strike a row and they're uh, rinky quickly there. But they yeah, to it's get gonna be super so. hard now for Andy Edmer to do something because mm -hmm. right now they only have Cav and Camels and they don't have the gate control, so it's gonna be suicide on the gate and they don't have the time to do anything. Yep, yeah, it's only two minutes left now. They both got 500 units, so the units are kind of similar, but. Definitely in favor of Wise Series right now in terms of map control. Wise Series need to play patiently though. We've seen uh, Yeah Buddy, for example, actually lose the gate fight because they pushed in too much. For example, Pandanami Shenji. Oh, yep, they're gonna get wiped there. Clean breakthrough there. They, they need to interrupt the supply. They need to really send one guy to interrupt mm -hmm. the supply right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is what's missing. Like. Why is is getting a lot of things from the supply? Yeah, we have one guy right now. He's yep. blocking the supply to snow, and uh, I think he'll manage to survive. Right now, uh, actually, this is really well done. Yeah, they they may still be able to do uh, it. Have the time. Yeah, they got the block on the supply. They also are going to get new units right now. Two camels, units from the right three camels, as well, four yeah. camels. Look at the right supply. That's insane. Also, Yan Yadao Kafri. These camels and Yan Yadao Kafri, they may be able to clean the point, but they need to be really, really fast now. Fifteen seconds before yeah. they need to start capping. Seconds. Yeah. Yeah, 40 seconds and for, for first brace. Ooh, Pananami greets coming in. 10 seconds. Nice. They need block. to focus killing the heroes. Ooh, yeah, they need to be really quick. Uh, this cat needs so to wipe everything at once. One zero. And the flank from Malik oh. with, with the Yanya Dao, that's super crazy. That was crazy. Just turned around in one second, that was nuts. It actually become, came closer than we expected, I think. 15 seconds left. Why does Sirius manage to wipe out in the end, though? That was really good. Cleaning up now. Both on the point, but also on the side. So, why is the Sirius? The Yanni, that was crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely nuts. Like, what that unit does, we probably shouldn't be seeing it too many times here in this, uh, in this evening. It's gonna be crazy. But yeah, that's it. So Wise Series stays in the fuel division. They'll be going to eight points, I think. So Argonaut is sitting at five. Um, can only ruin yeah, Buddy's dream in the next match. Uh, but they will be demoting to Rustic Division next season. That is Argonautas. All right, let's go check out the stats here. Uh, I saw Vet getting quite a few hero kills. Yep, five hero kills once again. That's, that's good job on him. Striker Row once again sitting at the top as well. Getting the troops critical core, but Pandanami this time picking up the MVP. Striker Row, Black Wing, all getting over 80 unit kills. Not that many unit kills, to be honest, this game. Yeah, there, there was a lot of spam of like um, low unit count units, like monks, mm -hmm. Albertiers. No, I mean, not Albertiers, um, 
uh, Yanni Dao and uh, Campbell's. There were, there were a lot of these units, so you may see the unit uh, troop score, but you, you might not see the unit kills, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. For example, Pandan Ami killed 23 of the Yanni Dao cavalry. Uh, that's pretty good. Couple guys but, killing uh, that whole units of Shenji. Like that. Yanni Dao is the Indian doctrine is really is really crazy. Like I don't know why they added this doctrine. Mm -hmm. They should definitely rework this doctrine to like HP or something and just remove remove it from the game.